It's a little past 1 a.m. I have to be quiet because people are sleeping and in my house like voices kind of echo. I took a nap around 9 p.m. and I slept for about one, two hours. I woke up like around 11 p.m. ish. So now I can't go back to sleep because I literally just woke up. I've been awake for a few hours now. I ate some food. I've just been sitting and contemplating life and listening to music. So what I'm doing right now is I'm writing down like my schedule for the rest of my year's semesters at college. Because I'm going to be a second year student in the upcoming fall. Our advisors don't really do much. So it's like I gotta take matters into my own hands. Especially since I'm considering changing majors from biology to biological anthropology. So that's like different major, different requirements. But I haven't like officially declared it yet because I don't want to make the mistake of switching just to like learn more about it and change my mind and I have to switch again. So I'm trying to do my research over the summer about it. And then like I'm probably going to officially declare as my major after I take like a few classes in the fall and see how anthropology is like. Also, I'm on the pre-med track, so I also have to take that into consideration as I plan out my schedule. Like, just an idea of my schedule. Because like, I'm a little bored. Like, there are dishes, a bunch of dishes to do. However, I'm not trying to accidentally drop a dish or like, just make a bunch of noise in general and get in trouble. But I might do it because like, the sink is full of dishes. And if I leave it there, it's going to end up dry, which is going to make it hard to wash tomorrow. I guess basically today. But it's going to be tough to do it later on. You're just going to be planning on my schedule, listening to music, chilling. Not even sure if I'll sleep. Not even sure what time I'll sleep, I mean. Like, of course I'll sleep, but what time? I don't know. I mean, y'all, look at this. Look at how many dishes there are. And look at the time. Past 2 a.m. And I have to put these items away first, which makes noise before I even do these. Like, bro, I'm not sure the plan is anymore. But there's also like a few more on the table. Like, stuff I need to go like in the fridge. Um, a couple more dishes. And my current plan is to try my best. If I drop something, I'm just putting everything down and I'm leaving. I'm not. I'm not waiting to get yelled at. If I drop something. I'm walking away like nothing happened. Alright, so I was able to put away the dishes without making too much noise. Now it's up to now it's time to actually clean the dishes, which I'm worried about because I, won't be, I know that I won't be able to clean everything because not everything got a chance to soak. Like, I know that over here this might be like crusty. I mean, it's not bad, like, I can just scrub it. But for these and this, these have to soak. This one. That makes noise. I'll have to find a sponge. I, I currently found this, but like, where's the sponge at? I don't know either. Um, the shoes don't look too bad since I see lots of plastics in there. And since I know that I won't clean everything, and I do have some time because I plan on sleeping maybe around four o'clock, so I have some time to like take my time and be quiet. Okay, I'm all done. It's almost 3 30, and I'm actually able to do more than I expected because like, once I got the other dishes clean it and I got water from that. I was able to pour into the other pots which helped it soak and helped me clean it faster. So like that's good overall. I'm gonna have like these two big boys so if I can do that tomorrow. I made minimal noise. Like, there was a little noise but not enough for me to be like, I need to leave. I need to log out. So I'm planning out my classes and courses for the rest of my college years because you know like our advisors, they don't really do much. They basically just give us like the okay to register for classes, they give us a code. Or at least like when they finally do want us, it's probably like when it's a little too late. So then I'm taking matters into my own hand. And so like I'm writing it down, right? Like classes that I'll take like depending on the year, the semester. And I also have my laptop right here for like my major requirements. However, since I'm not even sure if I'll change my major anymore, that changes like the plan. Because I'm looking at classes I need to take. I have to drop some classes now in order to get certain classes in now. It's like, dog. I currently like my schedule. This upcoming semester, I'm going to take um, like an intro biology class, a beginner's anthropology class, intro to linguistics, beginner's calculus, and I'm overloading and taking 20 credits instead of 16. So my last class is like an intro to communications. I also want to take classes unrelated to my major, like nutrition, astronomy, deaf. 
it's just stuff that I find interesting. So yeah, I'm also just looking at that in my schedule. And I also have to take swimming lessons because they're offered through my school. And it counts as a one credit card. So like, why not? I mean, I can kind of swim. I can do like a little something something. But like, it'll be better if I could improve my skills. It's like, I don't know what to do now. But like, I'm not sure if I'll need to take summer classes in order to catch up. If I should drop some of my classes now. If I should just hope that everything will work out, which at this point I'm not sure. Alright, I think I'm basically done with my whole course planning thing. So this up for this upcoming semester, I'm gonna take biology, I can begin with biology, um, anthropology, linguistics, calculus, and this one. This is also biology, but it's like intro to physiology, and it has lab in it. This one also has lab, so two labs. I also plan out like next semester, having like spring semester. And then, like my junior year, and even like my senior year, um, my senior year is like over here. But, like I know I wrote, and that's what matters. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident about the rest of my classes for the rest of my years at college.